kind of get your thoughts after that one? Yeah, very good controlled performance, I felt. Um, the, the, the shape that they play can be a difficult shape to play against, especially when they're trying to press the game. And obviously playing in a diamond, but uh, but I thought we worked it out well in the game, opening up the sides and um, yeah, we, we scored a very good first goal. First half, I thought we were we could have been a bit cleaner in our passing at times. We gave it away in the build up and our game a little bit loose. Um, but then second half again, a lot better control and um, and organised the game well. So uh, a very good three points for us. As everyone's aware, we're a lot of players down with injury and whatnot, but the players are very much a team, and and, and it was a very good team performance. I felt. There's another player injured tonight, Emilio. Can I get your thoughts on the, the challenge? Yeah, it, it was a clumsy challenge. At uh, at best, it was um, yeah he's over on the ball, the boy, and I think it scared Emilio a little bit in terms of uh, he's had issues with. With his ankles before when he's broken them, so um, but the medical team are telling me they, they think he's got away with it, so uh, it's a little bit sore, and hopefully he'll be okay in a few days. Feel it deserved more than the yellow card that it got. It's, it's, I think Craig's a very good uh, referee, and uh, he maybe didn't see it and at the time. He he was maybe blinded by it, but um, but yeah, no, it wasn't a good challenge at all. Anyone else about to come back over the next few days or so, or even for the next league game? Yeah, well, Olivier. Hopefully we'll be back somewhere towards the uh, the weekend. He's been training all week. Um, it was brilliant to have Dedrick on there tonight. You know, he's we asked him to to see if we could get 60, 70 minutes out of him. He had done that and was unfortunate not to score. Um, so that's a plus having him back after being out for so long. Odson hopefully will be okay um, by the weekend. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there's anyone else available. James, they seem to be the, the, the scan was coming. Yeah, the scan was clear. Um, so, um, so yeah. Again, just need to monitor the tightness of that, or whether he be available for the weekend. I would think he would definitely be be ready for Valencia, but uh, but we'll, we'll assess it over a couple of days. Unfortunate yeah. for Bayo, ready to come on and make his debut. Yeah, yeah, it is. He's obviously desperate to play the boy, and uh, he's been training well. But sometimes that's that's hurt work. So uh, I'm sure he'll get him fairly soon. How pleased you with the impact that um, Matoyan's made? He's been pretty seamless tonight. No, no, he, he's he's a really good player, and that's what good players do. They come in, slot in. Hasn't played a lot of football for a while, but you can see he's a talent. You know, he's smooth, quite serves the ball well. Great assist for the first goal, uh, and like I say, he's got good energy. Can get up and down the pitch and and very composed. So uh, yeah, no, I thought the game tonight and. You know, at the weekend he was he was excellent. So and he's only going to get better once his fitness uh, once his fitness uh, improves. Maintaining that lead at the top, you see players kind of enjoying being pushed and being pressed a bit. Well, I think that I've always tried to get my team to be. You know, they're not playing with pressure, and 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 you can see that because they're playing well. I think that's the the biggest indicator and measure of you know people talk about pressure and. Pre I haven't conceded a goal. We're playing very well. There's still items that we look at that we can be better in, but no, we're just enjoying our football. You know, you really just focus on yourself. Of course, there's a perception created around a challenge and a title, and it's tight. And but all you can do yourself is just really focus on on your on your own performance, not get too emotional around it, and uh, and and play good football. And and if we do that, then we know we have a chance to win. I think what's been been very good with the team as the fundamentally for us we're defending very well. That's always been a you know a key item for us to press the game and force the other team into mistakes. The goalkeeper shouldn't have too much to do if we're pressing well and working well. And then we have the quality to to create and score goals, and uh, and the team are doing that at the moment. Brendan Scott, uh, Scott Green's passing accuracy has been very impressive. How pleased have you been with his long range distribution? And do you think that uh, can add a different dynamic to the team's play? Yeah, I think he's. I would say his decision making is is very very good. Scott, when we took him in here, it was because he had a, he had a really good view of the game. Ever since I've been coaching, I've always had goalkeepers that uh, that can participate in the game and build the game because the build up and how my teams play is very very important. So he sees it. He made one misplaced pass today when he should have had a touch. And uh, the very first action of his game, 
apart from that, he, he understands football. He knows when to speed the game up, when to go into the first line, out into the second line. And that, like you say, that can give any team, uh, as I said, that opportunity to, to play through the thirds quicker. Um, I've got Craig Gordon, you know, who, who's a fantastic goalkeeper, you know, uh, who makes saves and in my time has, uh, has understood that as well. So I've got a couple of very, very good goalkeepers vying out for the, the position. Scott's in it, looking very calm and composed and, and when he has to make saves, that's important as well. He can make the saves, but, uh, but yeah, he really, uh, he really helps her build up play. Has she known your number one minute? He's playing at the moment. And uh, he's had a sustained run, and uh, like I say, you know, all my goalkeepers are all fighting to play. Okay, William, thanks.